Hello and welcome back to another video of Accessible Computing YouTube channel, Accessible Computing Access to Technology with Accessibility. Hi, this is your tech assistant Ratul and today we are going to learn a very interesting feature of NVIDIA. But before that, today we have a good news. In today's episode, we have one guest. I have one co-host, Mr. Ravi Kumar who will help me to make today's episode. So without any delay, first let's welcome Ravi, then we will uh, go forward today's topic. Ravi, you're most welcome to Accessible Computing YouTube channel and thank you for joining with us. Let's listen from Ravi. Hey everyone, hope you're doing great. And uh, to begin with, thanks to Accessible Computing to uh, being a co-host, I mean, uh, uh, for choosing me as a co-host here. And uh, to begin with my introduction, this is Ravi here. I'm from uh, Bangalore and uh, I'm a student of management. I mean, I'm pursuing my bachelor's of business administration in uh, Bangalore. So I, I would, I mean, as not mentioned, I'm a viewer of uh, accessible computing and a student as well. So this is my short introduction. So, yeah, thank that's, you so much. That's great, great. So uh, we are very happy to having you here with us. So without any delay, let's start today's useful video. So today we are going to introduce a new NVIDIA add-on with the help of which you can connect your laptop with other laptop. You, you can remote others machine. But friends, you can say like, Okay, I don't, I know that there is remote add-on, there is a remote add-on with the help of which I can do the same. But what are the other features, what, what is the special feature? Why I'm going to tell this, uh, tell about this add-on? Because with this add-on, we can transfer files. Yes, in NVIDIA remote add-on, we can't, but with this add-on, we can. And we will show you how to do this in the video. So. Let's hop in. Okay, so now let's connect. I want to connect to uh, Ravi's system. The connection process is same like NVIDIA remote add-on. So I'm going to NVIDIA menu by pressing NVIDIA key with N. NVIDIA menu. Then I am going to tools by pressing down arrow. Preferences tool helps tools submenu T. I'm expanding this submenu by pressing right arrow. View log V. Now I'm going to uh, down arrow. I'm pressing down arrow until I hear remote submenu. Speed rail Python manager create port run com re reload plugins remote submenu E. So I'm just expanding this. Connect C. Remember you should uh, both should have the add on and you should have connected mm, to the internet. Otherwise, it will not work. And the add-on where you can download the add-on, I will tell you at the end of the video. Disconnect on a connect. See. So let me connect this. I'm pressing connect. Connect dialog. Client radio button checked. So you don't have to change this. I'm pressing tab. Control another machine radio button checked. So here are two radio buttons. Control other machine. So if you want to control others machine, so you should just choose this first option. Otherwise, if you press down arrow once, you will get another option called Allow this machine to be controlled radio button checked. Allow this machine to be controlled. So who, uh, I mean, the computer, which you want to be controlled or, 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 or the computer which you want to take the control, they must select or he or uh, she must select uh, select this option. So control another I'm just machine. Using radio control button. another machine, and when Ravi is connected, so Ravi choose the second option. Allow this machine control. Allow this machine to be this controlled. Option, okay. Re control and host combo box collapsed. Edit Alt Plus H selected deremote.com. So in host you should type a server. Uh, the server name is nvda remote.com that's n v d a r e m o t e dot c o m nvda remote.com and then key edit alt plus you should k give blank. a key whatever key you want a b c d one two three four whatever you want you can give otherwise if you press tab once generate key button alt plus g so generate key so here is the option to generate key it will generate a random key key edit alt so i'm just choosing a key called uh, 2023 
Then I'm pressing tab. Generate key button. Okay button. So I'm clicking on connect or I mean okay button to establish the connection. And Ruby also will do the same. And after that, I can able to connect. So I'm connecting. Press desktop list. Zoom 16 of 29. So you'll get a beep sound. You'll get a so small sound which uh, indicates that the machine is now connected with the server. Now, uh, uh, Ruby, uh, are you ready? Are you doing the same? Yes. Okay, so the, please connect the system with me. Yeah. So now uh, that is the thing. Now uh, the machine is connected. Now I'm just pressing F11 to control the machine. Controlling remote machine. Now let's see. First thing is controlling local in our, our my desktop C English class Zoom 16 of English Crave 18 FS Reader Illustrator FS NVD. This was are there. Okay, so now I'm pressing F11. Controlling remote machine. Now I'm going to revise desktop. Rabbit Zoom one of See. eight. Rabbit Kumar two of eight. Ravi Kumar, the Ravi Kumar file is not there in my system. Okay. Network three of eight. Recycle bin four of eight. Control panel five of eight. Microsoft Edge six of eight. Right, all these things are not there in my system. But in Ruby system, they are present. So I can do whatever I want. If I want to install any software, whatever I want, I can do in the Ruby system. Now, controlling local. I will show you that thing. I mean, how to send the files. For that, I'm again pressing uh, NVIDIA plus N. NVDA. Go to tool sub menu. You log V. Then go to remote sub menu. Connect. Unavailable. Connect. See, disconnect. E. Disconnect. Mute remote. Push clipboard P. Send file. F. Send file. So I'm just pressing enter here. Choose the file you want to send to the remote computer dialog file name. File name. Okay. So now I'm just going to choose a file. So I let royalty me free choose a file. Items view list. Rachel Bass. Shoot Rachel Bass. Items view off. AC images. I logo accessible computing 2023.jpg. Okay. So we will send our logo. So I'm pressing tab. Header list. File name. Files of open button alt plus O. So I'm just clicking on space bar here and you will listen a sound and Ruby will receive the file. Okay. So I'm just pressing. Pressed warning dialog. The session will be blocked yes. until the transfer is complete. Okay. So this is a small error. I mean, no, not error, a small um, uh, warning. Okay. So while you are, while the files is transferring, all the sessions is block so you can't do no button anything. alt plus yes button alt plus so y on yes button press desktop list nvda 4 of 29 so uh Aravi, did you receive the dialog appears choose where to see yes now ravi is doing whatever ravi you can do uh our listeners can listen your your you you can do whatever you want and uh yeah, let me stop my screen sharing screen sharing and you will share the screen and you can save the file first, then you can send me back. So when the file is transferred again you will get the same sound so ravi can uh, uh, ravi can save the file when i upload the file to the server this from the server directly ravi can save the file in his system so uh, now uh, the file will be sent back by him so let's see how it works will it works or not well uh, i've received a file from him now uh, I'll be sending back the same file. So the procedure will be the same. So I'll just follow the thing. So let's press uh, NVDA menu. NVDA menu. Then tools. View log V. R run com registration uh, facing tool R. Menu. R reload plugins R. R run com re R reload plugins R. Remote sub menu E. Yeah, you can. Uh, Go to remote submenu by pressing down arrow as well. Connect unavailable C. So 
Disconnect mute remote on a push clipboard. Send file. So, there's an option called send file. Has he done the same procedure? We'll just choose the file uh, you want to send. Enter on this. Files of type combo box all files start dot start file name combo box. So you can navigate by uh, pressing I mean shift tab or tab. So I'll just use shift, uh, shift tab to use a file. I mean choose a file. Items new list three D objects not selected. So I'll just D desktop D document D downloads. You can uh, use a shortcut if you know the current I mean current uh, keystroke of this. Uh, file that you have saved, wherever you have saved. So I'll just click on the uh, downloads button. So here I've uh, saved the file. Items new list, the date grouping expanded, logo accessible computing 2023.jpg not selected. Yes, here's our, here is our file. Uh, we should select this by pressing control space. Uh, it will really not select it by default itself. So we'll do that. Space. Okay. Accessible logo accessible com space. Accessible computing not selected. Logo accessible computing 2023.jpg. Yeah, means that it is selected. So I'll just press tab once. Header list, date modified, split button collapse. Again tab. File name, files of type, open button note plus yeah, O. I'll just hit enter here. Warning, dialog, the session will be blocked until the transfer is complete. The Are same you... warning uh, will be up here. No button note, yes button note plus so Y. I'll just click on yes. Desktop list. We are good to go. The file has been sent to the another computer. Yes, I have received the file. So yes, Ravi, you sent and I have received the file. But I'm not going to share the, my screen again because uh, the same thing. I I just just a uh, standard save dialog box is opened, and now I can save my file. So this is the way to share files between computers by using NVDA tail add-on. The add-on is available on our official telegram channel and the official link I have shared in, at the first comment of this video. Also, you can send file up to 10 MB. Yes, there is a small restriction. You can send any file up to 10 MB. So if you, if you like this type of videos, if you like this video, then please like this video and also share this video. And please don't forget to let us know your valuable opinion into the comment section see you in the next video till then stay safe stay happy stay learning and again thank you ravi for coming and joining with us here so thank you bye bye okay guys thank you so much and it's my pleasure to being a part of accessible computing thank you so much